Hi everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 Challenge of the Month. Earn an Autodesk Certificate of Project Completion by joining the Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge. And if you want to find out more about our Monthly Challenge, you can type Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge on your favorite search engine. And joining the Monthly Challenge is very easy. All you have to do is email us your full name, school, or company name to autodeskcommunityphilippines at gmail.com. As a personal preference, I usually disable under grid and snaps. I disable snap to grid and incremental move. I will be assuming that our units to be in inches, so changing the unit type to inch hitting OK. Inspecting our drawing, we have an option to create two blocks. But for me, I'll create one. So I'm going to hit L for line, selecting our YZ plane. Left click, zooming in. And instead of continuing to use line, I'm going to revert and switch to rectangle. So I'm going to hit R for rectangle and commit to the two point rectangle option for our for first corner. I'm going to place it at our origin. So left click here, the height to be seven and I'm going to hit tab the width to be 7 as well, hitting 7, and hitting Enter. Next, grabbing our rectangle tool once more. I know that our previous command was rectangle, so I can hit right-click, move up, and select Repeat 2-Point Rectangle. So left-click here at this corner, moving down, Left click once more. So notice I did not input any value. Hitting escape to disable the command and hitting D to grab our dimension. Selecting this horizontal line. So notice at this, as this highlights, that is the moment we should perform our left click. So left click here, moving down, left click here, and left click here to place our dimension. So keying in for Hitting enter. Next, selecting this vertical line and this vertical line. Left click here and key in 5. Hitting enter. And hitting T for trim. Holding my left mouse button and painting to remove these entities. Hitting escape. Notice that our entities are all in the color of black, meaning they are fully constrained. I can hit stop sketch or immediately proceed to hitting E for extrude. Prompted to select a profile, selecting this profile, left click. Holding shift middle mouse to orbit. Changing the direction to symmetric. I'm going to grab this arrow. So notice the effect of symmetry. And as a quick tip, it is highly advisable to always make our, if our model is symmetrical, always place our default planes or axis at the middle. The advantage of having a, or placing our default origin axis planes is we have the ability to perform mirror commands. So I'm gonna change our measurement to whole length instead. So the total length, in other words, whole length to be 14, operation U body and hitting OK. Going back to home view, let's get back to sketch mode. I'm going to select this face, left click, right click, and create sketch. Next, hitting L to grab our line. 
Let's place our first point at this intersection at the edge. Left click. Going to our origin. Hovering over here. Moving up. Left click. Next. Left click at the midpoint. So notice the triangle. That's the indication of midpoint. Hitting escape. Selecting this line. Hitting X. Now I prefer seeing this line as a or having a vertical constraint. So selecting this constraint and hitting delete. Reselecting this construction line. Right click and select horizontal vertical. Next, hitting S to grab our sketch toolbox and typing MI. Selecting mirror for objects. Selecting this line. Activating mirror line. Left click and selecting this construction line. Hitting OK and hitting V to grab our dimension. Selecting this line and this line. Moving up, left click here, keying in 90, hitting Enter. Next, selecting this horizontal edge and this point. Moving to the right, left click, keying in 2, hitting Enter. So we're done with our first sketch, hitting Stop Sketch. Next, selecting this face, right-click, selecting Create Sketch. Rotating and selecting our view cube top. So notice my sketch is visible. I know that because Sketch 2 is turned on this bulb. Moving forward, hitting L for line. The intersection or our first point to be at this. Going back to top view first. So left click here. Hovering over our origin. Moving down. Left click. And left click at this end point as well. Hitting escape. So let's perform another symmetry constraint. So we need another line to be our symmetry line. So hitting L, left click at our origin, moving down, left click here, hitting escape. So we already have an inferred vertical constraint, reselecting our vertical line, hitting X, the shortcut for our construction line. Now, this is already constrained. I know that because I can left-click and drag. So notice it doesn't move. While for this point, notice it, notice it moves. And one indication is that our line has the color of blue. So moving forward, I'm going to hit D for dimension, selecting this line and this line. Left click here and key in 70. Hitting enter. Hitting escape. And going to stop sketch. Next, creating our third sketch. Hitting L. Now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. Selecting this face. Left click. Zooming in. And before our... I place my first point. I'm going up under sketch. I'm going to select under project include select intersect. So rotating. I'm going to hover over this line. So notice this red dot, the intersection. Left click. Next, moving here as well. Notice the red dot. So now left click. And finally, hitting OK. I'm going to look at, zooming in, and grabbing our line tool, hitting L. Left click at this projected point. Hovering over here, moving down. Left click, left click here, and left click here. Hitting Escape. Hitting D to grab our dimension, selecting this line and this line, move up, 
left click here and key in 100 hitting escape so it's all black meaning fully constrained selecting stop sketch going to home view zooming in heading up to create left click here and select loft for our first profile selecting this profile rotating so making sure it's free rotating and selecting this profile and this profile so make sure the operation is cut and finally hitting OK going to sketches and turning off the visibility of sketch 3 going to home view in this very interesting monthly challenge we learned how to create the basics of a loft command and once again thanks for watching the fusion 360 monthly challenge looking forward to see your files in a360 and see you next month this video tutorial is brought to you by MSI Workstation WT726QN. Keep practicing and keep joining our Fusion 360 monthly challenge and we hope to see you all as Fusion 360 certified user.